Meeting Consultants Limited, six, Dawo Holding Limited, seven, Makungu International Limited, eight, Talent Gateway Limited, nine, Royal Capital Placement Limited, ten, Jakarta Ventures Limited, eleven, Skills Dove Limited, twelve, Gifted Minds to a Travel Limited, thirteen, Tango Fox Limited, fourteen. Alim Tayaz Travel Agent Limited, 15, Rodevo International Limited, 16, Flex Touch Recruitment Limited, 17, Omran Ali Agencies Limited, 18, Alsari International Limited, 19, Leisamis Recruiters Limited, 20, Skyward Global Dimensions Limited, 21, Mawasalat Manpower Limited, 22, Man and Swa Recruitment Palace, 23, Kalezon Limited, 24, Abamwe Investments Limited, and finally 25, Mastermind Ventures Limited. I also want to add... Uh, yeah. Just a minute, Waziri. <laughs> Mr. Kiri, the last time you appeared here, you indicated that Judy is operating to other agencies. Are those two agencies among the ones which Waziri has just read? Yeah, th thanks so much, Mr. Chair. Yeah, there is this, this role capital placement. Which one? Number? R number, number two. Okay. And also number nine. Okay. And uh, there, are, there are other... We have Ajira Kenya also. She has another agency called Ajira Kenya. Mm -hmm. She's running it. She has about six other companies. I'm going to make a process to, to register. So we have Ajira. Now, we have the police for the final children will come matter, but she ran away. We can't believe what we are doing. So, Mr. Kirui, what you are saying, and Waziri is here, and the director of NEA is here, mm -hmm. is that recruitment is still going on in Eldoret in fact, through proxies uh, by the same person. Same person. In fact, member of parliament. Director, at least uh, that one was uh, there for the director, because at least I know these members will be asking you questions whether you are aware of that. Okay, Mr. okay, Mr. Chairman, can we pause there? Let us proceed. If I can just let was proceed on the same point that uh, yeah. when people register as Listen, proxies, yes, yeah. yeah. yeah, Senator. What I can comment is it possible for you to mention other company agencies that now she is operating so uh, Wasiri can hear about it if they are not here. Senator, he has already mentioned them. Yeah, we will. We will. Yeah, okay, okay. Wasiri, proceed. I just wanted to point out that. Uh, when there are many Kenyans, if somebody comes and registers a company, it's going to be very difficult for us to know whether they are associated with that person. And so we cannot go denying people registration uh, unless we have proof that they are being used by this person. And in the same way, even though they are proxies, there has to be a link, and that is why that the investigative agencies need to continue. But I think the solution to this thing is that the people who are doing this need to be in jail. Because if you are eating maragwe and rice in jail, you don't have time to find proxies and, uh, and some of these things. So I think we need to move to other... Waziri, there is no rice in jail. I've been jailed before. I didn't <laughs> see it. Waziri, <laughs> <laughs> proceed. I'd like to point out as I look at the next question that uh, on this matter, I had a conversation this morning with the Director of Criminal Investigation and also had a, a conversation with the director of public prosecution, uh, who is currently out of the country. And uh, the director of criminal investigation has given us, told me, he has two files, on, he has a file on two charges uh, with the DPP, and the DPP had also requested for some more information uh, to the police, which I believe has been given. So I think by Monday, you should be able to get a full answer from the DPP on when they'll move in terms of prosecution and, and all, 